Ready to pull an all-nighter? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime about gaming. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at anime that have their plot and setting centered on video games. This means there won't be any chess games against gods, and certainly no children's card games that send people to the Shadow Realm. Number 10, Recovery of an MMO Junkie. Fed up of corporate life, 30-year-old Moriko Morioka quits her job in hopes of finding something more fulfilling. <sighs> Things don't go quite as planned as she finds herself returning to her old interests and picking up a brand new MMO RPG. After creating her heart guy character, she soon befriends a recovery mage named Lily who she just can't help but find extremely cute. However, in reality, Moriko has an unlikely encounter with a handsome high-ranking businessman whom she may have met somewhere else before. <laughs> Number 9, and you thought there was never a girl online? Confessing to someone on the internet can be a pretty risky affair, and Hideki finds out the hard way when his proposal to a female player is rejected because she is actually a he. <laughs> Heartbroken, Hideki swears off online relationships for good until fellow party member Akko manages to drag him into an online marriage after repeatedly asking him. Turns out Hideki made the right choice as he learns that all of his party members are actually girls in real life. However, Akko seems to have a problem telling reality apart from the game, and the group struggles to keep her delusions under control. <laughs> Number 8, New Game It's rare that we get an anime about game development rather than a group of heroes in a gaming world. Infatuated with the game Fairy's story ever since she was little, the recent high school graduate Alba Suzukaze wastes no time in applying to the game's development studio, Eagle Jump. Landing a job as a character designer, her luck doesn't stop there, and she learns that she'll be working on the latest entry in her favorite series. But it's not all fun and games as Alba struggles with her colorful cast of co-workers and the crushing reality that is crunch time. <laughs> Number 7, Gamers If the most beautiful girl in school walked up to you and asked you to join the gaming club, would you say no? Well, Keita would. Though he loves games as much as the next nerd, he rejects the offer when he finds out the club is more focused on competitive gaming rather than just having fun. <laughs> Karen doesn't take the rejection too well, not so much because of his reason, but more so because she's actually in love with the guy. Gator's friend tries to knock some sense into him, but he'd rather get into a heated argument about video games than learn a thing or two about girls. <laughs> Number 6, A Cell World High school is rough for Haru, who's an easy target for bullies. However, he's unexpectedly rescued from his aggressors by vice president and number one pretty girl, Kuro Yuki Hime. Even more unexpected is that she sought him out specifically for his gaming skills and introduces him to Brain Burst, a secret program that acts both as a brain enhancement and also as an augmented multiplayer fighting game. Against his savior's advice, Haru logs into the game and gets thrashed almost immediately. <laughs> Though instead of getting scolded, Kuro Yukihime takes him under her wing as she believes he's just who she needs to take down the top players and get revenge. <laughs> Number 5, 
Number five, Summer Wars. Watermelon, fireworks, and girls, that's summer. I'll stick to watermelon and fireworks. One of the main worries that comes with a society dependent on a virtual network is the damage that could be caused by a hacker. Summer Wars brings that worry to the forefront when Kenji, a mathematical genius and part-time moderator of the massive virtual reality world Oz, has his account hacked and used to cause devastating damage, all while he's pretending to be his friend's fiance at her family get-together. Kenji's my fiance, actually. What? Fiance? Feeling some serious pressure, Kenji and his unlikely team resolve to face this mysterious hacker online and save both a virtual and real world from total destruction. Who are you? Number 4. Dot Hack Sign The young wavemaster Tsukasa finds himself in a pretty bad situation after mysteriously waking up in the MMO The World without any idea how he got there. We're where am I? As if things couldn't get any worse, he can't log out and he's been branded an illegal character by the Crimson Knights. Why do you run? Because I think it's fun. Tsukasa does have one thing going for him, sort of. He's protected by a guardian that attacks anything that threatens him, or just anything in general. Hey, if that thing is your guardian, order it away. We are not your enemy, do you understand? Uh, I know that. There are a few players that resolve to help him figure out what's going on, but he has no choice but to hide while he figures out just why he can't log out. Number 3. Log Horizon When games receive new updates, they usually add a few new dungeons and ruin some characters' classes. The White Beam Tree. Is this really... Akihabara? Elder Tale does things a little different and manages to transport a bunch of players into the game world with seemingly no way back. One of these unlucky or lucky players is Shiro, someone with an infamous reputation for backhanded strategies. Thornbind hostage. Ah, hey, what the hell, man? Together with its friends, they try to figure out the rules of the world they thought they knew while dealing with rogue players and nasty dungeons that previously weren't present in the game. It's a good thing then that death has little to no consequences. And in this world, death is not the end. Number 2. Overlord Like it or not, all of our favourite games eventually come to an end. Momonga sits down in his guild hall as the popular MMO Idrasil ticks down its final moments. However, instead of being logged out, Momonga finds himself interacting with his guild's NPCs who have developed full personalities and a fierce loyalty to him. <laughs> Severely confused, Momonga has to maintain his role as the giant skeleton leader of the Dark Guild so as to not raise any suspicion. This means repelling daring adventurers while also carefully gathering information on the world of Idrasil, which has changed in more ways than one. <sighs> Number 1 Sword Art Online Series a world where virtual reality has advanced so much that it feels like you're really in the game is definitely an alluring premise, even if it leads to some dire consequences. If I die in the game, I'll die in real life! This anime starts out with a bit of a shadow cast over the technology when a bunch of gamers find themselves stuck in the online world with no choice but to clear each floor or face their demise. It's the Scar Reaper! On the flip side, the subsequent cyber adventures of the infallible Kirito have him flying over the beautiful forest of Alfheim Online, deflecting bullets in Gun Gale, and even battling on the streets with AR, which all certainly makes us wish that the future would just hurry up already. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.